tonight. Beach hotels are proving the most resilient when it comes to the hotel sector post-global economic downturn. That's according to Jones Lang LaSalle. Meanwhile, Dubai leads the region in both occupancy and revenue per available room for the first quarter of 2010 in terms of performance. From 10 .2 to 10 Delegates at the Arabian Hotel Investment Conference, which began today, are speaking now of a reawakening of the MENA hotel sector, which is expected to see increased investor interest, a rise in hotel properties for sale, more competitive pricing, a rise in visitor arrivals, jump in revenue per available room, and region leading other locations around the world. Everybody in the Middle East look at the UAE as the biggest market when it comes to hospitality. And, you know, Abu Dhabi and Dubai are sharing uh, that market uh, as we speak uh, in the region. And it's, uh, it's very important for, uh, for all, you know, business activities, all the tourism activity. It's important for this region. The MENA hotel market is expecting for the most part a jump in investor activity and Dubai has been pinpointed as having strong investor interest along with supply meeting demand. Bear in mind how convenient Dubai is uh, to get to as a conference location. Clearly MICE market still has plenty of uh, opportunity within it. I think also the, the other segment which will probably start growing is the budget economy segment. Uh, again, as land prices come down, it becomes more feasible to develop assets like that. According to STR Global, the leading benchmarking and research company, Dubai has the largest number of rooms in the total active pipeline and in construction phase at the moment, with Dubai and Abu Dhabi together on course to meet its business and tourist arrival projections. When there is a surplus, the occupancy drops to 50%, 60%. We are far from that. Dubai is today, from January until now, around 80%. And uh, with this, uh, I think Dubai will close the year, in my opinion, between 75 to 80 percent. The best cities in the world are not, are not there. The Arabian Hotel Investment Conference comes at a strategic time just ahead of the 2010 Arabian travel market, with the focus being placed on investment opportunities in the Middle East and North Africa. The three-day event brings together over 600 of the top hotel investment industry professionals. We're beginning to see those opportunities, and a lot of these big companies, as we heard from Nina Paquette this morning on the main plenary session, is the opportunities are in the emerging markets. So there's lots of opportunity here in the Middle East and North Africa. With Dubai's first quarter level occupancy running at 79%, well above the global average, which is a 10.4% rise in the first three months of 2010, the current forecasts look bright.